I come to a wall, stand 12 to 18 inches away from the wall, and then with your hands at chest height, your heels in full contact, lean into the wall, and you'll feel a good stretch in through the calf region. And once you feel those muscles stretch, that's where you hold the stretch. Please don't lean in with your hips. Okay, body is in straight alignment, the spine is straight, and your head should be the first thing to touch. Now, as far as your hands go, you can play around with them, take a wider stance if you want, elbows out or elbows in, whatever is most comfortable for you, and hold that stretch for a slow count to 20. There we go, this is a great calf stretch, probably one of the safe, safest ones that you can do. You could do it alternating right and left legs, but biomechanically this is the best way to do it because then this way you're not overextending on one side, both calves are getting the same stretch. Okay, hold it, come in a little closer. Now if you're not feeling the stretch with your feet 12 to 18 inches away, just work them back a little bit. Okay, there you go, the main thing is to keep the heels down. Okay, and hold it there. And then push back, bend your knees. Push back, let's con concentrate on stretching the adductors. Come to your couch, or you can stay at the wall if you like to. And sit in this position here. Soles of your feet are together. Hands are here, never grab your feet. Always your ankles or lower legs. And draw your feet in towards your body. And as you do, try to push your legs down to stretch the inner thigh. We're going to talk about organic farming today. We're going to talk about organic products because there seems to be um, some misconceptions. Um, for example, what does organically grown mean? Well, it means that the farmer used no chemical fertilizers or poisonous sprays. And organic farmers employ techniques such as crop rotation, which build rather than deplete the soil. Okay, so healthy soil produces healthy plants, healthy foods, and healthy people. Draw your feet as in as close as you can. If ever you feel this stretch in through your knee joint, you're working the wrong area. You're overstretching, so take the feet back away from the body. Okay, there you go. And sit up nice and tall. Okay, and feet out in front. Let's stretch the hamstrings. Very slowly allow the muscles to relax. Down they come. Okay, now if you feel the stretch there, that's where you hold it. If not, legs come all the way down. And if you don't feel a stretch yet, you're very flexible. What you need to do is simply lean forward just slightly. And then as soon as you feel a stretch here, you stop. Never ever should you feel a stretch in behind the knee joint. Okay, hold that stretch there. Rest your hands here if you like. You can circle with your arms. You can take your head from side to side, stretch out your neck, push your hands down by your side, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, two levels of cardio today, high intensity and low intensity. Get to choose the level you'd like to work at, and let's get moving. Okay, start by marching. Make initial contact with the ball of your foot, and then roll through and touch the heel. Come forward and back in your march. There we go. Yeah, I, there were um, some misconceptions about organic farming and organic food, so I thought that I'd clear a little bit of that up. And I know even for myself personally, okay? There we go. Forward and back in the movement. Work your arms in. Okay, posture is good. Knees are always slightly bent. Back is in a flat pelvic tilt position. Push your hands down by your side. Okay, shoulders are back and down. Head is not forward. It's in line with the rest of your body. Okay, forward and back. There you go. And let's count down to include my partner. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Bring the toe across the body. Okay, double trouble now. There we go. Side to side. Okay, now I want to talk um, about some natural cures. If you're sick and tired of being tired, you can try adding some ginseng to your diet, organic ginseng, hopefully. Ginseng is known to stimulate the nervous system naturally, and that, unlike caffeine, and it also increases your energy levels. Also increase your fiber, that will help your energy level. Lower your fat consumption, that will help your energy level. And if you add some B vitamins too, a multi B vitamin. Arms in, five, four, three, two, one. Down at your side, reach up and pull. Stretch with the fingertips. Now there were some interesting reasons as to why you might want to buy organic. Number one, it preserves the earth's soil because chemical farming actually has resulted in the worst soil erosion in history. 
Count down to change. Five, four, three, two, one. Heel out in front. Continue stretching that calf. Push down. Also, you want to keep chemicals off of your plate. Pesticides are poisonous. They are designed to, to kill living creatures, living organisms. Okay, and they are harmful to humans. Now, organic producers eliminate the danger of pesticide residue on food. Okay, and even if you bu are buying organic food, what I do, especially with grapes, is I wash all of my fruits and vegetables with the Castile soap, and then rinse them off very well. It's not easy to get organic, but you should wash all of your produce very, very well. Push down, arms in five, four, three, two, one, and just opposite arm, opposite leg, up to shoulder height. If you can, bring them up a little bit higher. If you do not have any neck or shoulder problems, there you go. Okay. Another reason to, to buy organic is that it protects the water quality. You see, organic farming also eliminates the pollution of river and groundwater caused by pesticides and chemical fertilizers. They have to go somewhere, they just don't disappear. It's like cigarette smoke, okay? It just doesn't disappear. Count down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Touch the toe out to the side, fingertips resting on the waist, or if you're more comfortable and want to continue stretching your neck, here you go. And a big reason to buy organic is to protect the workers. Okay, farmers exposed to herbicides are six times more likely con to contract cancer than people who aren't exposed to those pesticides, okay? And every year, an estimated one million people are poisoned by pesticides. Count down to arms, five, four, three, two, one, side to side, opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay. Work it up if you can. Stretch. Careful that the knee does not come out over the toe. Tail tailbone drops directly down. And the major reason, if you've never tried organic food, try it. It just tastes better. It really does. You can actually taste the food that you're eating. It's interesting, having grown up in the Okanagan Valley, where you could get fresh food anytime you wanted. In fact, on my way to school, what I used to do is stop at this one apple tree and pick an apple each and every day and he didn't, hadn't used any pesticides or fertilizers. And oh, it was so good. And I really missed that when I moved to the city. Count down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel comes up to the back, roll through your foot, very important. Never stay up on the ball of the toe. Roll through the entire foot, good. Now, you'll notice high impact people. They spin around in circles, but you'll notice that they roll through the entire foot just like we do here. Okay. Push your arms down by your side. It's interesting too. Let's include arms in five, four, three, two, one. The uh, gentleman who owned the apple tree, this is in high school. Um, the, I would take one each day as I walked by, and uh, the last, there was one apple left on the tree and I came walking by. This is in October and I thought I can't take his last apple and he was sitting there waiting in the window <laughs> and as I walked by and he came back he said no 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 you get the last one help yourself. <laughs> I was just a tad embarrassed but oh those apples are good. In fact the house uh, came onto the market a while ago and I thought gee I'd like to buy that house just for the apple tree alone. Count down to change it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee comes up, back, up, back, up, back, up. Good. Now I'm going to give you a chance to do whatever it is that you want to do with your hands. Okay, use your imagination. Come on. Think of all the movements we do here. Pick your favorite, or maybe the one that works your soft odd spot, okay? <laughs> Whether that's your triceps, biceps, pectoral region maybe. Okay, there you go. What I do at the workshop, work, at the workout workshops that I do, 
So I give people that option. Get them to pick their favorite exercise. And then I come along and correct them if their posture is improper or they're doing something wrong. But it's interesting to know what your favorite movements are. It's quite cute, actually. <laughs> Countdown, 10. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Marching. March forward and back. Now increase the energy in the march. Not like we did the first minute. There you go. Work harder. Again, if you have lower back problems, knees stay below waist level. If not, up they come. Pump with your arms. Now there also are those people who say, wow. How do you know if it is organic? I mean, come on. Someone could just be throwing an organic sticker on it. But what you need to do is follow these rules. Look for the certified organic label. And two, to let you know that certifying agencies conduct annual inspections of organic farms and food handlers. They also supervise periodic testing of soils and water just to verify that a farm meets the organization's standards. Pump with your arms. And most producers are actually required to farm organically for three to six years before their produce can actually be labeled certified organic. Okay, countdown to change. Let's try our Swahili. One is Moja, Mbali, Tatu, Ne, Tano, Sita, Saba, Nane, Tisa, Kumi. Now, bring the knee up. If you don't have lower back problems, bring it right up. If your back is a little bit of a problem, just to here. Okay, work your arms up. Circle, keep the fingertips and hands where your eyes can see them at all times. Drop the tailbone directly down, forward and back in your movement. We don't do too many lateral movements, side to side movements. Reason being that that can strain the knee joint. There's not a lot to support that joint when moving laterally. Oh, a lot to support it moving unilaterally, forward and back, which is what we're doing here. Big deep breaths. Almost done, you can do this. This was easy, wasn't it? Yes, it does get easier. Oh, unless you haven't been tuning in for a while. <laughs> okay, count down. 10, nine, eight, seven, good posture. Six, five, four, three, two, one, that's it. Keep moving, locate your pulse either in the radial artery in your wrist or the carotid artery in your neck and count for 10 seconds beginning now. Okay, follow that clock and stop counting when it stops. Have a look at our heart rate target zone chart as you keep moving, please. Now. Find your age along the bottom of the chart, and then move up into the chart. That's your range. That's approximately 60, 65 to 75, 80% of what you should be exercising at. That is a safe zone. That's a fat burning zone, okay? Very important that during the commercial break, you stay moving. We've got tummy torture time next. Okay, roll down inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly, slowly down you go, or walk your hands down. Good for you. Okay, in this position, let's start with the lower abdominals. Draw one knee in, then the other. Feet, heels are above the knee level. And what you're going to do is you're going to contract here. And as you contract, the legs lift slightly. Contract and lift. But it's a small little lift, maybe an inch. Okay, now less intense people, they do the same contraction, but they take a break, okay? And if you're watching this program and you're not trying the exercises yet, come try this one. Okay, once you feel that contraction, it's a small little movement, but boy, is it effective. And I didn't coin this section, tummy torture time. That was your doing. I got a lot of mail from people saying, hmm, tummy torture time. In fact, it's cute because I know there's one little girl out there who does the exercises with her mom. And what happens is when I roll down, she calls me Cindy um, Curl Up instead of Cindy Curluck. It's cute. <laughs> up and down. 
It's nice too that we have a lot of children who watch the program because they're getting some great ideas for their lifestyle, for a healthy lifestyle. Diet, exercise. Can you feel that working? I know, okay, small little movement. Again, one of the things that I find at the workout workshops is that people are doing this, okay? That's not the exercise, that's momentum. It's a small contraction, and then release. Head is down. Okay, I bring my head up to address you, but you keep your head down. Push your neck flat. And in fact, when we do these exercises, if you can position yourself so that you just have to glance up at the television set, which should be there, because I don't want you twisting your necks putting them in awkward positions like this one. Okay, up, and contract, and release. And up, contract, careful with that spine. Okay, full contact all the while in this position. Never arch, there should be no space in through here. And please don't push with your hands here, okay? Place them here and you'll feel it working. Contract. Oh boy, this is a tough one. But it does the trick. It's probably one of the safest ways, too, to exercise the lower abdominals. There's a little allowance here for injury. Okay, as long as you keep everything in mind, you're doing good. You've come a long way over the years. And for those of you who never exercised before, congratulations. You've taken that first step. Okay, you'll get more out of life. You'll have a lot more energy. Feel more positive about a lot of things. That's what I find anyhow. When I don't exercise for a couple of days, oh, get grumpy, grumpy. Okay. Body needs to move, that's what it's designed to do. Okay, let's hold these contractions now. Hold it. You ready for this hold? Less intense people, you hold too. Hold, hold, hold the contraction. Bring your head up if it helps. Feel that right there? Oh boy. Hold it. Okay, and release. Now cross your ankles, legs come up, heels above knee level. Let's concentrate on the obliques, the side of the abdominals. Fingertips here and stretch over. And stretch over. Okay, less intense people. They're doing the same thing, however, they take breaks. Ideally, what you want to do here is to lift those shoulders all of the while so that you're employing the abdominals, the upper, middle, and the lower because you're pushing the spine. You can still feel that good. And then twisting over, working the obliques, the side. Okay, good. And if your head gets sore, you know, just take it back, roll it from side to side, okay? Or place your head in your hands here, okay? Your arms will be working to support the weight of your head. Twist and twist. Okay, now if you had wanted to work hips and thighs, because we didn't do that today, you can do that during the breaks. You're more than welcome to. Twist over. That's what those exercise breaks are for. Okay. Twist over. In fact, so many of you are working through the entire 30 minutes, which is fabulous. Okay. That's good. You're learning to motivate yourselves. So that's fabulous. Okay. Count down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lie back. Place your feet flat on the floor. Fingers resting on your shoulders at one level now. Come up and slowly down. Up and slowly down. Up and slowly down. Okay, if you can, try to do 30 of these during this abdominal break. See you right back for cool down. Promotional considerations provided to Canadian Rocky Mountain Spring Water, who supply the water for myself and our crew. For more information, please write P.O. Box 75209, White Rock, British Columbia, Canada, V4A 9N4. Oh, you're ahead of me. You've already got your runners off. Okay, take your runners off so we can stretch out our feet. First, roll down very slowly. Use your hip flexors here. Use your abdominal muscles. Okay, roll down very slowly and place one foot flat on the floor. Other leg comes in and let's point and flex. This is a nice little stretch for the tibial area here. Okay, there you go. Point 
and flex your foot and push with your chin so the back of your neck is touching. Stretch your shoulders back too. Okay. We spend so much of our day in a rounded position like this. We have to stretch back. Stretch out the back muscles and stretch out the pectoral muscles too. Okay. They take a lot of pressure each and every day. You did a great job today. It goes by quicker and quicker every time. It's the same amount of time. It just seems to go by quicker because you're becoming fitter. And for those of you who actually circle around, for those of you who actually spend um, the time during the breaks exercising, and perhaps you do continue on after the show, congratulations, that's good. You're learning to motivate yourselves. And it's a very important thing to learn because it, it'll carry over not only in terms of exercise, but in work your home life, all the things that you do. Draw the other leg in, push with that belly button so the spine is flat, point and flex the toe. I'm happy for you taking a positive step, a step in the right direction by choosing to exercise. Point and flex. I just know what it's done for myself and my life in terms of my energy level and the ability for me to deal with stressful situations is a lot easier through exercise. Okay, and circle in the opposite direction. And based on your letters, you're telling me it's the same thing for you too, which is good. Okay, circle around. Now place both feet flat on the floor. Arms come out to shoulder height. Take your arms over to one side, legs over to one side, head over to the other and stretch. Hold that stretch, you'll feel it all through the side of your body here. Spine, then roll across that lower back. Thanks for exercising with me today. Okay, head goes the opposite direction come back to center and then let's roll up 